It's Netflix of the week! Because it's been a while, here's what this program consists of. I give you information about three Netflix films that you may or may not have heard of, and... That's about it. Now let's... Do this. First up, we have a film that falls under no genre at all, yet all of them at the same time, and that is Upstream Color. Made in 2013, this is the second film from the genius mind of Shane Carruth, whose first film, Primer, won the Grand Jury Prize at Sundance in 2004. Carruth not only directed Upstream Color, but he wrote, produced, composed, and starred as one of the two leads. In other words, this man is one of the most talented people in the business. He also had a film called Topiary, but that's for a completely different video. To say anything about the plot would probably ruin the experience, so I'm just going to say it's one of the most messed up love stories of all time. However, don't take that as the summation of the film. It also analyzes the state of the human mind in a way that I have never seen before in my life. And did I mention it was made for a mere $50,000, yet has some incredibly moving shots that will most definitely stick with you long after the running time? The biggest complaint about this film that I hear from people is that it was too confusing and it took a while to unpack after they left the theater. And to their credit, it is a rather complex film where some plot points can get lost along the way. Alas, if you go into it with an attention to detail and are willing to spend a bit of time unpacking it afterwards, this is one that nobody should be missing out on. Next up, we have the psychological thriller that just so happens to be in my top five films of this year, at least so far, The Invitation. If you're not into the slow burn and questioning everything you know about a film from the word go, then this one isn't for you. The plot revolves around a dinner party that our main character, Will, is invited to, and the dinner party just happens to be hosted by his ex-wife and her new husband in his former house. If that's not enough to hook you, then just go watch it, because the trailer I'm playing with audio gives the whole thing away. The atmosphere is extremely tense and doesn't give you time to breathe until the final credits roll. And although, as I said, it's a slow burn, the climax is one that is still in my mind to this very day. However, only watch this film if you have no intention in going to a dinner party in the near future. And the final film is one that I always have trouble explaining, but I'm going to do my best to. Queen of Earth. Again, as I do not want to give anything away, the basic plot synopsis is that it is about two women at a beach house. This is one of the most unnerving films I have ever seen. The performances from our leads, Elizabeth Moss and Catherine Waterston, are beyond incredible. I'd go as far as to say Moss deserved to be nominated for Best Actress that year. The tension, once again, is incredibly thick, and the Keegan DeWitt score manifests itself in your spine, making you feel uncomfortable in the best way possible. As with Upstream Color, it's best to wait to watch this until you have time to unpack it afterwards because more than likely it's going to take a toll on you. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys can find at least one out of the three films that you enjoyed from this video. Uh, if you happen to like the video, well, you should probably leave a like on it. And if you are not subscribed already, then that would be a good idea as well. Um, leave anything you want in the comments because there's not really a theme to this video. And the next video that should be uploaded on the channel is this weekend and it's a review of Inferno. And as always, don't forget to let your mind run free in your own Imaginarium.